Hi, it's Christina and I am doing another wedding update. I have quite a few things to show you since my last video. Um, I've got quite a bit done, so I'm just going to get in and show you guys. First thing is I ordered these cupcake liners off of Etsy. Um, <clears throat> the reason being is we are having cupcakes at our wedding. We're having some that are filled and some that are not filled. So we wanted something that could, um, you know, differentiate the different cupcakes. So I found these and they are just perfect. Um, they are blue and green. Um, I don't know if this is, yeah, these are green polka dot, green solid, and then blue polka dot, blue solid. So, you know, we can either put the, you know, filled or whatever in the corresponding uh, cupcake liner. So I thought those were perfect and they were only $5 for 72 liners. Um, so it's, it's just perfect. If you need any like crafty little things that you cannot find, look on Etsy. Like that is the best website ever. Um, Sometimes a little pricey, but you can get some really good deals on there. The next thing that I got is actually off of Etsy, and they're my wedding favors. And what we decided to do, it was more me. I don't even think I discussed this one. I'm a bad fiance. <laughs> uh, is I got seed paper. Um, it's wildflower seed paper. And they're little paper hearts that have wildflower seeds in them. But I got um, lime green and violet blue were the two color choices that were closest. But they're little hearts like this. Um, and I think I figured... Oh, let me get this light back on. I don't know how to control this light. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is... And it's back. It has a mind of its own, guys. Um is put I think four of each heart in or two green hearts two blue hearts um in these bags they are lime green and they have the pull string that you just pull to tighten but they're the organza bags and you get 24 I think for eight dollars so that's not horribly bad so um got those and I have these tags that I'm going to put on the bag they look like this and I need to think of some cute little saying so if you guys have any tips for what to write like I want something like um, you know please plant these and watch the love bloom or something I don't want to sound so cheesy but something that you know tells the guests what to do with that because some people might not have any idea what that is um, so I want them to know that they're or I guess I could just put you know wildflower seed paper please plant and watch watch them bloom I don't know something cute <laughs> that isn't too cheesy sounding um, but that tells you know the guests what it is and that you need to plant it so if you have any tips let me know I would love to hear your ideas so, uh, like I said, I got three boxes of these. I just got all green. Um, another thing that we might be having as a favor is little bars of soap. Um, Jay's uncle, his name's Jeff, so we're having it at uh, his house. And um, Jeff and Chad are, they have a farm, and they're basically branding. So, they are going to start making... Um, goat milk soap and one of their ideas was to um, maybe include little samples of their soap with our favors you know with their logo and um, a business card you know to help you know share their product also add to our favors and hopefully get them some more business and you know that would help us have a you know two favors so that would be really cool if they are able to do that they're um, you know working on that now so that might go along with our favors um, I'm not sure as of right now um, next thing I got was at the party store and <clears throat> excuse me um, I have had the hardest time finding a guest book ring bear um, pillow and the flower girl basket. I could not find anything that I liked. 
and I finally found this and they are they were $20 a piece which I had such a hard time spending $20 a piece for these things because well not the guest book because I'll have that and you know can always refer back to who was at our wedding and their well wishes but it's like it's just so stupid to spend $20 for a little pillow that's going to be used one time and it's either going to end up in a box or it's going to, um, oh, my foot's falling asleep, um, end up at the thrift store. So I just, I, I hate that the stuff is so expensive. But anyways, here's what it looks like. It has a little flower design and it's white. Um, same with the guest book. Oops, just in your guest book and pen and the flower girl basket it has nice big white bows on the sides so I do like that um you know it's just too stupid to have to spend that much on it but ooh, they knew we're gonna buy it so um I really like this but you know they have these things that um I know you all have probably seen them, but the frames where you get the mat and then you have your guest um, auto, you know, sign the mat that is around your engagement picture. That is like the cutest idea. And I kind of was teetering with the idea of doing that, but I decided against it. Um, but I, I don't know, I kind of still went back and forth. Like that's such a cute idea. Um, and it's, you know, more original than the guest book. So you guys should keep that in mind if you haven't got your guest book yet to do that because it's real cute um but the last thing that I have to show you is some jewelry that I got and um I decided to go with pearl jewelry for um my jewelry and I'm actually kind of surprised I did that because I was like I am not wearing pearls but actually I think it'll look really nice with my dress um so anyways I got these earrings and these are the ivory colored pearls um I'm going to wear these ones and these and if you can see it's got little pearls and little you know fake diamonds but they're just little half circles um so I got those and then I got this bracelet it's two you know strands to make one but that's what it looks like and it has the clear so these were real cute and they were on clearance at um Kohl's it's a department store and I don't know, I got it really cheap. So I couldn't pass that up. Oh, and um, oh, I keep moving, I'm sorry. And the last thing that I have to share is the bridesmaids dresses. We got the order placed on Saturday for these. And this is what they look like. Now my color is of the dress is um, royal blue. And it has a detachable flower in the um, underneath the bust, right, it, right there. So um, it's really a flattering dress. It's really pretty. So I cannot wait to see what they look like on the girls. They're gonna look really cute. Um, I did get my dress picked up this weekend, and I just have to schedule to get alterations done. I just need minor things done. Um, there's one thing that just needs adjusted and then one spot that needs altered just a tiny bit so um, that should be a really easy fix and so I'm going to call her but the thing that I have put off is looking for flowers. I have not spoken to any florists around here. I haven't gone to any flower shops. I haven't done anything except look online and that tells me nothing because they don't have the prices of anything. So I really don't know what's available for our price range. Um, ours should be pretty easy because I basically just want a lot of loose daisies and then my bouquet, two bridesmaids bouquets, and then three corsages. I'm not doing the mother corsages or any of that. Um, so that should be really easy. So I don't know why I've put it off so long. I'm thinking sometime this week I should get that done. There's two flower shops here where I live 
so I want to contact them and see you know what what they can do um, since I'll obviously be leaving my house to go there uh, the day of the wedding that would be really convenient to just have them here in town so anyways um, remember if you guys have any thoughts for what I could put for those tags for the seed paper let me know because my wording is never really too creative so any help would be really appreciated um, I hope everyone is doing well and I will probably do another update uh, maybe in a month I mean pretty much everything's done so I don't want to bore anybody with rambling because I tend to do that um, oh weight update I have lost six pounds um, in like two weeks I don't know I, I have quite a bit more to go but you know if, as long as I'm noticing a difference you know weekly I'm really happy with that whether it's a pound two pounds three pounds is nice but um, I have lost a little bit of weight so far um, but you know I have my dress so I don't want to yeah, not that I would lose like 20 pounds, but you know, let's be realistic. I don't want to change too much now. Um, but <clears throat> anyways, that is my update. So thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.